So in this demonstration, we're going to demonstrate the idea of stoichiometry in um, acid-base uh, theory. So what I'm going to deal with first is I'm going to deal with milk of magnesia. Milk of magnesia is nothing more than magnesium hydroxide. It's a white powder. Okay, you know it's a white powder because it's not a what? It's not a transitional element. There's no crystal field splitting as a solid. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, so I'm going to add some of this white powder. You'd expect it to be a what? Soluble or insoluble? Soluble. Magnesium hydroxide. Soluble. Why would you expect it to be soluble? Because the powder. All powders are soluble. <laughs> What's the charge of magnesium? Plus two. And when magnesium becomes plus two, it loses or gains how many electrons? Loses two electrons. And when it does so, does it get bigger or smaller? So magnesium on group two is pretty high, and when it loses two electrons, it gets smaller. So its charge density, based on Coulomb's law, gets higher. So it's going to attract these hydroxides pretty darn strongly. We would say the electrostatic attractions are pretty strong. We'd expect magnesium hydroxide to be then, to be soluble or insoluble. Could water break apart the attraction between these if this guy is plus two and small? Yeah, so magnesium hydroxide is insoluble. Is it one of your strong bases that we learned last night? No. Your strong bases are alkali metals, potassium, sodium, rubidium, cesium there. And of course, calcium, barium, and strontium at low concentrations. Why not magnesium? Why isn't magnesium hydroxide a strong base at low concentrations? Because as you go up, it gets smaller. The other ones, as you go down, all right, are bigger. What's under magnesium? Calcium. And then we have what? Strontium. As you go down, you're adding energy shells, the atoms are getting bigger. Now, I know they get smaller, but they don't get as small as they get plus two. Do you see what's happening here? When they become plus two, they're not as what? Small. So what happens to their charge density? It decreases as an ion, but this one is still too small. So that's why the magnesium is not one of your strong bases. It's an insoluble compound. So this is a weak base. That hydroxide is locked with the magnesium. If I add some water... What would you expect to happen now? It stands cloudy. And what's the color? Reminds you of what? Maybe? Milk. And that's why they call it milk of magnesia. Milk of magnesia is, is over-the-counter product of magnesium hydroxide. Basically, suspension. It's called a suspension in water. It's not dissolved. It's just fine particles. If we stop, it'll sit down. So milk of magnesia is a weak base. It tastes gross. And you drink this, it's safe for your what? Esophagus, why? Why is it safe for your esophagus? It's a weak base. It's locked up. The hydroxide is attracted to the magnesium and has no ability for the hydroxides to absorb any what? Any protons, right? bronston lowry theory, the OH minus can't absorb a proton, so it can't act as a base. But once it hits the parietal cells in our stomach, the strong base can force the hand of the weak ass, the weak base. There's a strong acid in your stomach can force the weak base to become a, a base, right? Stoichiometrically. And because this has two what? Go over here. There's two hydroxides. Oh, I can do it. There's two hydroxides for every one magnesium. Or in this case, it's like a dibasic base. So I want to make something that's insoluble. Guys, when you think about we're doing solubility rules, don't think that things are just insoluble. Magnesium hydroxide is insoluble. There it is. It doesn't dissolve. Remember the Tyndall effect? To see if something dissolves, you should be able to see right through it. We can't see through this. But I can make this dissolve with what? I can force this very weak acid to be what? A strong base. Or I can make it completely act as a base by adding a strong acid. So here I go. I'm adding strong acid. What happens if you're not careful? Now we're waiting, and if it does dissolve and act as a base, I should be able to see my finger go behind it. 
at some point. Okay? It eventually should get clear enough for us to see something behind it. She's coming. Why it's a girl, I'm not sure. It's kind of like boats, I guess. So can you see my finger now? So we force the hand of the weak acid by the strong acid. That's the stoichiometry I want you to see. So it doesn't have to be strong acid, strong base. To have complete stoichiometry as one of the sides has to be strong. This is the reason why magnesium hydroxide is effectively neutralizing this acid, okay, because of that. But, all right, so it's a little demonstration of stoichiometry and acid base. And it's also a demonstration that things that are insoluble could become soluble if they have a basic or an acidic ion.